Hi, VencorWeather.com, meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, March 27th. Temperatures spiked in the I-95 corridor all the way up to 77 degrees yesterday afternoon at Reagan National Airport in D.C., 67 in Philadelphia, 62 degrees at Central Park. Much cooler this morning following the passage of a cold frontal system. Low pressure developed along that cold front, uh, still producing some rainfall in the I-95 corridor this morning. By this afternoon and then uh, especially overnight tonight and into the day on Saturday, it'll become cold enough that any lingering precipitation could very well fall in the form of some snow shower activity up and down the I-95 car. We are setting up for a winter-like cold weekend here in the Mid-Atlantic region, and it won't be only around the Mid-Atlantic region that will suffer through this well below normal weekend. The, the, this cold shot will affect the entire eastern third of the nation and I expect to see some uh, numerous record low temperatures in the eastern third of the nation come early Sunday morning. Well, this is the latest uh, radar loop from the Penn State Ewall site. It runs for six hours, the last six hours going up uh, all the way up to 8.30 a.m. The white here represents some snow, colder air moving in on the back edge here. Still some uh, shower activity, even some steadier rain down across the D.C. metro region. That'll last for the next uh, few hours or so. And then again, this afternoon, there'll be a lingering uh, shower possible, maybe even a snow shower, a couple of snow showers possible at any time tonight and on Saturday, even into the early part of Saturday night, up and down the I-95 car from D.C. to Philly to New York City. Well, here's a current surface map across the nation. Again, low pressure formed along this cold frontal system, kind of enhancing the rainfall post-frontal system, uh, the passage of the, of the frontal system last night. We had some periods of rain late last night and even into this morning, some of it heavy at times. Uh, there was a line of thunderstorms just ahead of the front early last night. Uh, nothing too serious in terms of uh, downpours or severity of those thunderstorms, but that signaled the end of the spike in temperatures, a one-day warm-up all the way to the upper 70s across D.C. and the upper 60s in the Philly metro region. This high pressure heads south and east over the next 24 to 48 hours, and again, very cold for this time of the year, some 15 to 20 degrees below normal on Saturday for late March, and again, by early Sunday morning, I expect there will be numerous records broken in the eastern part of the nation with this way below normal air mass coming our way. Well, let's take a look at another surface map in the northeastern part of the country. This one has surface observations. Notice these wind barbs basically showing a uniform flow out of the northwest in the uh, entire northeastern uh, part of the nation here all the way down into southeastern Virginia the colder air is slowly filtering in and again we'll be well below what we were yesterday reaching way up in the upper 70s yesterday in DC uh, and the upper 60s in Philly will be uh, lucky to reach 50 degrees in those areas later this afternoon as colder air continues to filter in during the day and it'll certainly be noticeable uh, tonight and on Saturday, a winter-like cold weekend coming up for the northeastern part of the nation. Well, let's talk about the threat for some snow shower activity in the I-95 car, and indeed there is a threat anytime from later today through tonight, through the day on Saturday, even into the early part of Saturday night, all due to a very dynamic pattern in the upper part of the atmosphere. This is the forecast map from last night's Zero Z GFS model run for this evening, Friday evening, a very vigorous upper level trough still to the west of the I-95 Carter this evening and it only slowly moves to the east over the next 24 hours or so. With that kind of instability in the atmosphere, a snow shower could break out at just about any time from late today, tonight, through the day on Saturday. Let's now jump ahead 12 hours to the Saturday morning forecast map at 500 millibars. Well, here we go. Still lots of energy in the upper part of the atmosphere come uh, tomorrow morning. This is, again, the forecast at 500 millibars, an upper-level trough sitting right in the mid-Atlantic region, even kind of a secondary trough back here over the upper part of the Midwest that still has to swing on through. Let's now jump ahead another 12 hours to Saturday evening's forecast map. Well, finally, by Saturday evening, 
this activity starts to move just to the east of the I-95 car is still an upper level feature sitting right on top of the I-95 car to come early tomorrow night so the threat for a snow shower will actually continue in the I-95 car right into the early part of Saturday night then finally that pulls on out of here we get quieter certainly on Sunday but still cold winter like cold way below normal for this time of year well, let's now look at some surface forecast maps from last night's Zero-Z GFS model. In the same time periods, we'll look at 12-hour increments from tonight through tomorrow night. By this evening, notice this blue line here uh, all the way across southeastern Virginia. It's kind of the freezing line at the lower part of the atmosphere. Notice a second blue line here. We'll watch the progression of that over the next 24 hours. That will kind of indicate to us that the coldest core of this air mass won't be over us until late tomorrow tomorrow night so it's kind of a gradual cool down over the next 24 hours or so again some lingering snow shower activity in the cold air especially up in the higher elevations uh, by this evening let's now jump ahead to tomorrow morning well here's the forecast map for saturday morning notice that second blue line dropping to the south and east now cutting right across the i-95 corridor this is the, the uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius isotherm at 850 millibars, a few thousand feet up in the atmosphere. Again, kind of some splotchy precipitation in the form of snow, as predicted here by last night's Zero Z GFS model run for tomorrow morning. Uh, a northerly flow of cold air throughout the eastern third of the nation. Let's now jump ahead 12 hours to Saturday evening. And finally, here's that forecast map for Saturday evening. Notice now that blue line, that minus 10 degrees Celsius isotherm line, even farther to the south and east. This is really the coldest core of the air mass sitting right on top of us tomorrow night. It'll be a very cold night tomorrow night. And again, leading into a very cold early Sunday morning, I expect numerous records to be broken in this part of the country come early Sunday morning. So a winter like cold pattern setting up for the weekend can be a snow shower or two at any time from later today through tonight through the day on saturday into the early part of saturday night with all that energy in the upper part of the atmosphere that's it for now for vencoreweather.com i'm meteorologist paul dorian